addition to the Winnipeg Jets, and you look at how they're hoping he will help. The Jets have struggled at the faceoff dot, only 28th overall in the league at over 46%. But Monaghan has been one of the best in the league at just under 55% at the faceoff dot. So, look, Kevin, I know you always appreciate faceoffs, but you look at some of his details. The basics, right? You've got a wide stance. So he's ready. Kevin is also ready next to me in his faceoff stance. Here, right, he chokes up on the stick to make sure he's got the bottom hand nice and low so you're strong on the stick. He also does a little bit of leverage to make sure he's got the turn. Also being aware of your opponents to make sure, is this going to be a clean win or is there an element of me need to make sure that I tie up my opponent's skate? So he does a great job in these little elements of the game, Kevin. You can tell he's a veteran centerman because he cheats a little bit with his feet at times and he gets away with it because he's a savvy veteran. Another area that the Jets have kind of struggled this year are power play inner slot shots. 27th in the NHL. That's not a good number for them. They need to get guys on the inside. Kelly just talked about it. And this is Monaghan's last 16 of his last 19 goals in the last two years. Look at where they are. All in the dark blue right there. All in front of the net. This is where he makes his living. 13 goals this season already and this is where he's getting the lion's share of his opportunities it's funny because you think that forwards would want to go to this area knowing that this is where the majority of the goals go but I have a very tough time finding guys that want to play in this bumper position and are very good at it for that matter of fact you can't tell a guy exactly where to go like Monaghan it's a little bit more of feel out the coverage and use your instincts and go into the soft spot and read the play he does that very well Jen so he covers the ice in every area, and I think we're going to do the same flying over here. But Sean Monaghan is also great defensively. So you think about his two-way game. And for him, overall, stick checks. He's fourth best uh, in, the, in the league, puck battles as well. So here's a guy, he's been a leader at every team he's played at, at every level. And so you look at being aware, making sure that you're putting in the effort when you're coming back towards your own zone to get the takeovers, to get the stick checks. There's always an intelligence for Hibbs game in terms of making the reads on when to jump down, just making sure physically he has inside positioning, the timing, just right. He knows, he reads the play, anticipating, then joining the play. So here's a guy who's done a great job, but there's several details in his game, right, Kevin, that have helped him to be so great. I'm struggling with my short sleeves right now, Jen, but I think we did a good job, so back to you, Ron. That's very good off the cuff.